Hey guys, it's Tay. Welcome back to my channel. Please ignore my ugly nails. Um, today I'm going to be doing a nursery tour. Um, I've been wanting to do this video and I finally got most uh, most of everything set up. So um, I'm still putting away some stuff, but you guys will get the idea. Um, we're currently in a one bedroom apartment, so he doesn't have his own room yet. He will next year when we have to move out of this place. So if you're living in a one bedroom apartment and you don't really know how to set up um, like an area for your baby or if you don't have enough room in your bedroom, keep watching this video because we also didn't have as much room as I'd like in our bedroom. So we put it kind of in our living room. Also, I still have a lot of stuff to put away. Um, there's still stuff with like tags around and I haven't hung up the, what's it called? The, mon the baby monitor um so this isn't like a complete tour um i kind of still need to put some stuff away but i thought i'd just show you guys what i have so far and um also let you guys know where i got some of the stuff that i have so yeah let's get right into the video so actually let me show you first where our door is so this is our bedroom door you come out and his stuff is literally all right here so it's right outside the door, so if he's crying or anything, I can just, I'll be able to hear him. Um, we also will have the baby monitor set up. I'm not sure how I'm going to put it yet, just because there's this grass wall. I don't know if I need to, like, cut a hole in it. <laughs> or I might actually put it, like, here um, for now. I don't really know. Um, this was off Amazon. Someone got it for us off our baby registry. But it's the Victor, sorry again, ignore my nails. The Victor home cameras. This model is a PC420. It comes with two of these. I currently have one by my front door just because I wanted to see how it worked and I like to watch my dog whenever I go to work. Um, so I kind of wanted to see what she did when I left. And it actually made me really sad because she sits by the door the whole day and looks sad. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I have that, which I still need to hang up. So, first thing I'm going to show you guys is this kind of area. Um, this was always here before any of this, so I kind of left it. Um, it's just like this little picture board. I got this at TJ Maxx for like 19 bucks. I think it's so cute. And it comes with the little pins, clothespins, is that what they're called? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I mean, once he's here... We'll replace, like, sorry, Marco, we're going to replace some pictures <laughs> um, and put some of him. Um, I'll leave some of us, like, this was the gender reveal. That was when we got married. Yeah, this is him. <laughs> um, so, I got this from Ikea. This is the mom four drawer dresser. I think I paid 119 for it. This is an Ikea lamp. Um, I haven't plugged it in yet because our router is plugged in down there and I need to get like a extension thing or a thing that has like multiple plugs on it. And this is just a picture. This is like the one of the full, geez, I can't talk. This is one of the first ultrasounds we got of him. This little frame is from Burlington. It was like $9. This Marco got for me. I'm not sure where, but. I just like it. And this is the sound machine. I don't, I forget the brand. It says Let's Fit, but I don't really know if that's, I don't know. But anyways, this isn't plugged in yet either. But this also was on my registry. Someone got it for us. Um, I really like the wood style. <laughs> it looks cute and it kind of matches like what I have going on here. But So the first drawer or the top drawer, what I have is diapers, wipes. Um, pacifiers, backyard clips, um, we have diaper rash ointment and some baby lotion, baby Tylenol, the baby Vicks rub, um, I think these are like <laughs> boogie wipes or something, I don't know what this one is actually, oh, oral pain relief, um, I know I'm gonna have a lot more stuff in here, this is kind of just what I have so far, like, these are free wipes that I got, um, someone got those for us and then I have all the diapers every time I open this drawer though they these keep sliding so I'm gonna I might just put some more diapers back there or something um 
just because it's super annoying. And every time I open it, they're like, they slide. Um, but these, these are from Target. I really like these pacifier clips. They're like stretchy cloth. I don't know how to explain it, but they're super cute. And someone got them off our registry for us too. Um, I have all, I have so many pacifiers. I don't, I know I'm going to lose some, but I don't think I need that many. There's like freaking 12 in there. Second drawer, oh, this drawer gets stuck every time, is all of his like sleeping stuff. Like his onesies, like the footed ones and the ones that have like hands on them mostly. Um, and these are from newborn to, I think I have some in here that are even like six, yeah, six months. Um, so don't think I have all these for zero to three months because that's a little crazy. Um, so I have like his more fluffy ones back here just cause I don't know. He only has a few of those, but yeah. So I have all of these in here in the third drawer. I have swaddles and sleep sacks. So, um, this one I'm really excited to use. My friend Sierra got this off our registry for us. Um, Let's see what else. A lot of these are actually from Once Upon a Child. So they're used and everything has been washed already. I already washed everything. Um, I have bought more stuff since I washed this. So I'm going to have to wash all that too. But yeah, I have like quite a few because some are like gifted. Um, and then others I bought. <laughs> in the bottom drawer, we have just some of his clothes. I still don't have stuff in here. Um, we have his little sweatpants and shorts, um, onesies from newborn to, I think, three to six. Um, I need more. Like, I realized once I put them away that I don't have that many. And I thought I had a lot, but I don't. And these are long sleeve ones. And these are socks and mittens, um, hats. I don't know what I'm going to put in here. He does have, like, nice little shirts and jeans and stuff like that, but they're six to nine months, so I was like, I don't know if I want to put them away yet. I might just hold off on that and put some of the new clothes that I bought him in here. So that's all for the dresser. And next to that, I have these little baskets. I got these at, I think, Ross. It comes in a four pack for 10 bucks. And so I have one here, it's just like his toys and these little balls are so cute. These are from Burlington or maybe Marshalls. One of those. I don't know. This is from Bye Bye Baby. Um, <laughs> so has a sticker. That's from Marshalls. And this was off our registry. Someone bought this. In here, this doesn't really have like a, a purpose yet. I just threw stuff in this basket. But this is like the mattress pad. or there, It came with two. So there's two mattress pads. And I have like three different sheets in here for the mattress. I just haven't washed them yet, so I kind of put like dirty stuff in this <laughs> basket. But I got both of these off Amazon. The mattress pad and the three pack of sheets. And then here we have the diaper pail, which um, my some of my family members got off my registry for me. I love this one. I don't, I forget the brand. I don't know, but it looks so much cuter than a lot of the other ones that I've seen. It's more like sleek. And yeah, I like it a lot. It has this little heart. Maybe that'll help you guys with the brand. I I don't know why it doesn't say what the brand is, but I kind of like that it doesn't have words all over it. Okay, so let me back up and show you guys. This is kind of his wall. Um, This... I need to just move this blanket, but um, this crib is the baby Leto, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Uh, my grandma got it for us, and it's super cute. It's just a mini crib, and it says they can fit in the mini crib for quite a while, like a year to two years or something. And by the time he's two, we should probably get him like a toddler bed, <laughs> like a little one that's like low really low to the floor so i figured 
this will do for now. <laughs> and then this mattress is super nice. Uh, my mom got it off Amazon. Um, I, for, I don't know if that's the brand or just says that. But it's really nice. I haven't put the mattress pad or sheets on it just because I haven't washed them yet. Um, so we have that. And we have his little name sign up here. And I haven't found a way to hang it yet. Like this goes to something else. <laughs> I mean this works but it's like white so it looks stupid. So I might either just like try to color this like dark green so you just can't really see it. Or I don't know. Like how do I hang this on here? If you guys know, please let me know because I hate that little thing in the middle, but I'll figure it out by the time he gets here. And then down here to the left, I have this little wicker basket thing. This is from Ross Well. It was like $10.99 or something, which is a really good deal. It's super cute. In here, I just have his little <laughs> neck pillow. Um, it came with this blanket and I have this little stuffed animal. And I also have this quilt that my grandma made, which is so cute. We went to Michael's or Joanne's, I think, and picked out like a bunch of different patterns, like this uh, zigzag one, the animal one, this one, and the gray. And she puts it all together and it's super cute. Thank you, grandma. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this kind of corner. I'll do like another overview. Besides like this area, um, we kind of have like another little corner right here. So this corner has his swing. Um, there's my boppy right there. And that's the diaper bag I'm taking to the hospital. Uh, so yeah, we have his swing here. This, my mom got it off eBay. It was used, but um, it's the Ingenuity. I like it. Um, it is kind of big, like maybe I should have thought about picking a smaller one. <laughs> like the legs go out so far, so it's hard to find like a good spot to put it, but it works for now. And um, I have his little play mat right here, which somebody got us off a registry. And we have the little, what are these things called? Door jumper. Someone got for us and then the other day, I just was at Bye Bye, or where was I? I think at Bye Bye Baby. And I got him these little toys. And he has a baseball bat already. <laughs> My dad got this for him, for baby shower. And um, this is just blankets. I might move this basket somewhere else. Because there are a lot of blankets in here. And I might just try to find somewhere else for that. So that's kind of what we have in our living room. Like everything... Um, so far, uh, I don't think there's anything like any other big things that we're needing. Um, I might get a rug to put here in front of the crib and everything, but I haven't quite decided yet because I don't have a changing table. I haven't decided if I'm, if I'm going to get a changing mat or changing pad. What's it called? I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to get one and put it on here or if I'm just going to like change them on the floor or on the bed or even like on this part of the couch where Mia likes to sleep. <laughs> so that's another thing I need to decide on. <laughs> um, I kind of don't want a changing mat, changing pad. What are they called? A changing pad. I think it's changing pad. I kind of don't want one on top of the dresser. I kind of just think I'll change him like on the bed or on the floor. Um, so in our bedroom, I do have a bassinet and we have the Halo, the Halo bassinet. I really like it. This again was used. I don't think we bought anything new except our stroller was new. Um, but yeah, you can like wash everything. You can take everything off and wash it. So all of this has already been washed. And then under the bassinet, I have a basket of things for me. <laughs> have my Perry bottle. Um, these are little burp cloths that my grandma also made. She made some for Marco that are baseball. And then the other ones, they match the, the quilt that she made me. So those are super cute. So those, I guess, aren't really for me, but then I have uh, nursing pads. I have 
this cream, body lotion, or I guess where you like your stomach. Um, what is this? I don't even know. I can't read. Stretch mark prevention. Or I have my Hakka, which someone got off our registry for me. And yeah, there's going to be a lot more that's going to go in here. My breast pump will probably go in here. I haven't uh, ordered it yet, but. So this kind of, I just keep right here in my room because I know at first I'm going to be in here a lot and need all that stuff. Then, if we go in my dirty closet, which it wasn't dirty before, but now it is, so I'm not going to show you the floor. I just have put clean laundry down there. Um, I have his shoes in here and his clothes. So we kind of go from like short sleeve um, and like little romper things to long sleeve and sweaters and then like big comfy fluffy things and these hangers were from Burlington um, I think it was like a 25 pack for nine dollars so I got two packs I haven't used them all yet but then yeah we have all his shoes he has a lot of shoes I'm like a shoe person <laughs> there's even shoes in here and that box down there and then up top I have his tub um, I didn't really know where to put this because our bathroom doesn't, I don't have really any room in our bathroom for it. So I put it up there. And on the floor down here, I have all his diapers, wipes. Those are also some more diapers that he got like off Facebook or something. Um, but I know I'm gonna need a lot more than that. That's just all I have at the moment. Definitely gonna need some more wipes. Okay, I just brought the stroller over here in the um, car seat over here so you guys can see. So this is the Evenflow Pivot, I think it's a Safe Max. I'm not quite sure, but the color is sandstone. So it comes with that part and then like the bassinet part, which also like converts to like a toddler stroller. And then it comes with the car seat and the base. His mom and dad got this for us off our baby registry. No, I'd be forgetting it once I I put it together I'm like oh that's easy and I take it apart and they put it together and then like a week later or two weeks later I can't remember oh I remember now if you have long nails this is this is like the hardest thing to do because there's like this thing you have to grab and I can't grab it so give me a second hold on this is gonna t take me a minute Ah, I got it. I thought. And like one side came off, but not both. It's so hard to do with nails. There we go. I got it, guys. <laughs> so, first part, you have to undo this part, so. Jeez, with nails, this is just not it. So you just unflip that part and it locks. <laughs> it's kind of a bulky stroller, but I don't mind it. I've seen some that are super small. And I'm like, geez, like it look, it looks like too short. Like I'm kind of tall. I'm like five, six and a half, five seven. So this isn't too big for me. But if you're like shorter than that, you might want to find like a smaller stroller. This is the car seat, and it can go, this is that dang part, I can't get, oh my god. With nails, don't have nails, because I cannot push this button hard enough. There we go. So, this can go this way, or this way. I prefer it this way, just so I can look at him. And then, um. The bassinet can go either way as well. I like it facing me so I can see him. So it just snaps into place. And it's laying down now. But once you have like a toddler or whatever, there's a button under here or like a latch. You pull it, it goes up like this. And then under the back, there's like a it's like a thing you tie, and it makes like a seat. I really like this stroller, like a lot. 
And it has a lot of storage like down at the bottom. So my whole diaper bag can fit under there and you know, whenever we go shopping at the mall, all my stuff that I buy can fit under there. And it has a cup holder. It also does have a thing that hooks right here, like a snack tray and a cup holder for the baby. But obviously I don't need that right now. Probably need that in like a year or something like that. It comes with one base, so I'm trying to find another one. I don't know if the car seat fits like all even flow bases or if it has to be the safe max base. I'm trying to figure that out, but I still got a little bit of time. <laughs> so we got until September. It is July 5th today, but who knows? He could come early. Let me not say that though. Um, I think that's why I have everything ready. Like now, like Marco was like, why, why do we have to put all this together now? Like what? Like. He, we got three months and like well I don't know because if he decides to come like next month and I haven't done none of this then he's gonna have to do it all by himself and he doesn't know how to put a crib together <laughs> or like decorate like I, I put this wall up I, he doesn't know how to decorate so I just kind of like doing stuff how I want to do it but I also just was like super excited to get it ready because I wanted to be a mom for so long. And I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it right. And yeah, I still have to buy a lamp for this corner, probably right here, just because I don't know, you guys can tell these lights are so bright and they aim right down at the crib. So I'm never gonna turn those on. I'm never gonna turn those lights on when he's like laying in there. Cause that's just like torture. like freaking bright lights in your face so I have this little lamp on my dresser but I kind of want a tall one that's like dimmable in the corner just in case uh, at nighttime I have to like come feed him out here I don't want it to be bright and like fully wake him up and fully wake me up <laughs> so that's one more thing I, need, I do need to get which I'll probably get from Ikea because their stuff is so cheap but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun for me to film. I love showing you guys all his stuff, and um, I'm really excited. We're super excited for him to be here. I'm, like, counting down the days. I think I have, like, 81 more days or something like that. I know that's not, like, accurate. It could be a little less. It could be a little more. But still, I like kind of seeing that number go down. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys in my next video.